Andrew is my name. Um, Managing Director Handorf in Adelaide Hills Wine Centre. So um, I've been asked to join uh, you and the beautiful Claire to discuss a little bit about the Handorf Inn and our success stories. Um, I'm a tourism person, I'm a South Australian all my life, very passionate regional South Australian. Um, my family are from the mid north, uh, Port Augusta way. Um, and uh, at the moment I'm uh, running business in the Adelaide Hills, tremendous. Just recently came back from the Australian Tourism Exchange in Sydney, where I saw all the regions there um, promoting our wonderful tourism products. So uh, I'd like to share with you one of our successes in, um, in uh, the Handorf Inn in my business. Um, and really, I'd like to start by saying that uh, tourism growth or business growth equals employment. Now. Some of my um, examples I'll go through today um, relate to employing our international students um, by internships or um, casual part-time employment. Um, now, I, could, I can share with you that three years ago my business employed around 35 of the local, um, local staff and now we employ more than 70. And I'll show you how I got there. Um, my international student graduate, uh, um, at the moment, I employ one full-time uh, student graduate, and I'll introduce you to Jack Chen shortly. He's not here today, so I can't ask him to stand up, and um, he's busy at work at the moment. Um, so basically, uh, what, we've, what we've done uh, at Handorf is we've become, uh, become very... Um, in tuned in our markets, and uh, China in particular, Southeast Asia, has been very, very big for us, promoting Handorf to this market. Now, um, I employed Jack a little over a year ago. Um, now, we'd already been um, working in the China market for some eight years. However, um, it got to a point where we needed to ramp up our, our initiatives. So Jack came, uh, came to us. Now Jack's um, got two degrees, he's uh, financial engineering and also uh, marketing. Now marketing certainly appealed to me, uh, tremendous young man. Now some of the most recent achievements that Jack's brought to my business, um, as you can see there in the photo, in my absence he attends um, tourism summits, um, road shows, China missions, etc. In, in my behalf to promote Handorf, Adelaide Hills and my products Handorf Inn. Adelaide Hills Wine Centre. Now I'll just rattle through a few of these uh, initiatives that Jack um, can uh, hang his hat on. Um, now he's essentially bought um, all our group um, marketing into a format where it's more um, uh, online, on an online platform. So he can share that with, so in Jack's absence, other members of staff can pick up where he left off. Um, he's increased our direct uh, business buyers by 26%. Now this is picking up new clients, um, new operators, whether they're Sydney or Melbourne based, bringing visitors into the Adelaide Hills and visiting Handorf and Handorf Inn. Um, social media. Now some of you may be aware of uh, the, the China platforms of social media, WeChat, Weibo. Um, our subscribers and our, um, our, our members, our followers, etc., have had 200% growth in the last year for these platforms based on the fact that I've got one man, um, specialist in this area, um, targeting um, to the culture, to, the, uh, to this market that we're specifically requiring. Um, now, another initiative in regards to collaboration with our other tourism operators in the area, Jack constructed this cute little fun trail map. And I'll leave a copy at the front here if you want to have a look. But basically what this is, it's all in, um, all in Mandarin. Um, we give this out through all our, all our networks, through all our operators, um, and also you can pick it up at the visitor store. So basically what that is, it's a, it's a list of the businesses that um, uh, have something to offer and like to give an incentive, um, and also a guide around the town and what's, what it has to offer. Another initiative from um, Jack. Um, we recently um, had success in... Uh, an agreement with China Southern. So we're the only business that has a supply agreement with Guangzhou, China. It's the Handorf Inn and China Southern. So it's an actual approved supply agreement. 
where we uh, look after their their um, their crew and also their um, their um, uh, passengers. Um, facilitate uh, contract for Perfect China. So uh, South Australia in June will be seeing a um, a large um, consortium of um, Chinese visitors for the Perfect China Group. So the there, it's a large, probably the largest convention South Australia has seen, um, and we managed to get them into the regional area of Adelaide Hills, which is very difficult. It's only a three-day stay. However, we're seeing 3,000 of these uh, delegates coming into the region of the Adelaide Hills, which is tremendous for our economy. Um, and uh, Jack helped us uh, get that one over the line. Um, and he's also working on projects with Alibaba and WeChat payment systems, which is um, all done through their, their mobile devices now, um, which is now available in South Australia, which I encourage businesses that would require that. Um, some quick snap benefits for my particular business. So we've seen sales growth of two million within two years. Uh, we've opened two new venues. We've opened the regional wine centre and also our beer hall, Brow House. Um, and what that does is that that's allowed me to employ more people into these businesses. Um, and uh, all local, whether they're students, um, they, work, uh, they work weekends and they go to school during the week, um, and, uh, and full-time management. Um, uh, so as I said before, our employee growth has been tremendous. That's probably our, um, our, our greatest success story. Um, whilst also looking into new markets through uh, Southeast Asia and, um, and beyond. So these are a couple of our platforms. Now, Jiaoping uh, on the side here on, the, on, the, uh, on your left. Now that is a, um, like a TripAdvisor equivalent. Um, so a review. And also we've got the Mayo uh, Ma um, site here, which is... We're ranked number one in South Australia for restaurants to the visitors coming into Australia. So um, this platform, if I was to do this, I certainly wouldn't be able to achieve anything there. Um, my international graduate works on this uh, platform daily for feedback, reviews, um, and essentially puts us in the, uh, in the face for the, for the market that we're achieving. Um, so, where to find the uh, students? Well, um, Study Adelaide have an initiative, a recent initiative, it's an employer portal. So, um, this platform is free, um, free to use for anyone. So, it's good for employees and also employers. Um, it's ideal for small to uh, medium sized enterprises um, where you can register and they'll give you feedback to find a perfect candidate. Now, this doesn't necessarily need to be a full time role, you can be part-time, it could be even internships you can engage in in the area of uh, Clare to want to assist with um, um, doing some surveys for your business for the particular markets and I'm not just talking about the China market or the Southeast Asia market, there's also India and a lot of other emerging markets, uh, tourism markets that are coming to our regions.